Hello and welcome to this next topic of OCR A-level chemistry. This is topic 34, which is all about the condensation polymers of polyesters and polyamides. Now it shouldn't surprise you that a polyester contains many ester bonds and a polyamide contains many amide bonds. And they're both types of polymers and they're formed, as you might expect, from carboxylic acids with alcohols to form polyesters and carboxylic acids and amines to form polyamides. So we know the reaction of carboxylic acids with alcohols to make an ester, but to make a polyester, you need carboxylic acids on both sides of the chain and alcohols on both sides of the chain. And the same with polyamides. You need carboxylic acids on both sides of the chain and amines on both sides of the other chain. So let me give you an example of a polyester. So this is propane dioic acid, so three carbons with two carboxylic acids on it, and then Ethan 1,2-diol, two carbons with an alcohol on both sides. And the way these react is the same way as making an ester. So the OH and this hydrogen come off to make a water, that's why it's called condensation, because it produces water, and for some reason, miraculously, producing water was called condensation. And you end up with a bond between the carbon and this oxygen, the same way as with esterification. The difference being that this OH is still left on the end of the molecule, and this carboxylic acid is still left on the molecule. So this OH can react with another carboxylic acid, and this carboxylic acid can react with another OH, and when it does that, you get another alcohol on the end, and another carboxylic on that end, and you just end up with a long chain of ester bonds. So an ester there, then an ester here, then an ester after that, and it's a polyester. So let me show you the repeating unit for that. This is a terrible diagram, but you can see that we lose this OH and this H, which is water, and you end up with a bond between the carbon and the oxygen. Then what would happen is you'd lose this H and this OH, and you'd end up with another bond to another carboxylic acid and another oxygen. And so this is a repeating unit. You no longer have the oxygen hydrogen on there because it was lost to water in a subsequent condensation reaction. Then this one is bonded to the oxygen, making this ester bond, the C, O, O, and an R group. And then on this side, same again, the oxygen hydrogen bond is broken and the oxygen is now bonded to another carboxylic acid. Now you could put square brackets around here to show that that is the repeating unit, but often this is good enough, it's just got a trailing bond, which you can see that goes to another carboxylic acid. The common error that you get is that you leave an oxygen on that side and an oxygen on this side, showing the repeating unit has an oxygen to oxygen bond, which is not the case. So it goes carbon, oxygen, carbon. And so each time you make this ester bond, you lose one water. So I've drawn one of them here, there'll be another one made here when this alcohol reacts with the next carboxylic acid, and there'll be another one made here when this carboxylic acid reacts with the next alcohol. And so for each time this happens, you get one water molecule. I'm going to show you a polyamide now, it's very similar, but it uses a diamine rather than a diol. Okay, so this time I'm reacting propane diuric acid with this diamine, so it's got an amine on one side and an amine on the other. Very similar as before, the OH2 would leave at water, and you'd end up with a bond between this carbon and this nitrogen, and then this OH and one of the hydrogens here would leave, and this one would make another bond with the carbon-oxygen double bond, and this would make another bond with the nitrogen, and you get a very similar repeating unit as the last time. And the difference being this time that this is an amide bond, or an amide group, and so this would be the repeating unit for any polyamide. Now, hopefully you can see with this one and with the last one, I didn't have to use propane dioic acid, I could have used any dicarboxylic acid, so I could use propane dioic acid or butane dioic acid, could be any length of carbon chain or a benzene ring in there or anything, just needs two carboxylic acids on it. And then same with this one, the important parts are the amide group and the ester group from the last one. And so given that information, you need to be able to draw the repeating unit given the two monomers or given the repeating unit, determine what the two monomers were. So let me just give you an example of the latter. And so a question could be, you're given this as a structure and asked to draw the structures of the two monomers which formed this condensation polymer. Now the first thing you'll notice is what kind of condensation polymer it is, which is a polyamide. There's the amides on there, and there, and there, and there. And then you need to draw the two monomers. So to do that, what I'd do is break the amide bond and add water into the space where you just broke that bond. So it's called hydrolysis, but if you break the bond between the carbon-oxygen double bond 
and the nitrogen and hydrogen. So this bond here, and then you add a H onto the NH, and you add an OH onto this carbon oxygen double bond. That's the H2O that you're putting in, so hydrolysis is splitting a bond with water. Then you end up with NH2 there and a carboxylic acid. And if you do that for all the amides, you end up with just two products. And that's this product, the two amines on either side and the carbon in the middle, the same one as I drew before. And then with the acid, you'd have one, two, three, four, so butane dioic acid. Now you probably won't be asked to name these, but draw them and say that these are the two monomers which would produce this condensation polymer. And you should be able to do that with any two monomers. Sometimes I like to get a bit crazy and put an amine on one side and an alcohol on the other side. So you make a mixture of esters and amides, but just keep your mind open. Keep looking for amide bonds and ester bonds and how they're formed. And there's only one way you know that polyesters or polyamides are formed, and that's carboxylic acids with amines or carboxylic acids with alcohol. And so that's it for this topic 34 on polyesters and polyamides. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you can join me for the next one. Goodbye.